Today on Performance TV, our whole show is dedicated to diesels and power. Warren Diesel visits the studio with some upgrades that will make your truck haul. Welcome to another edition of Performance TV, where today we are going to put more power into your power stroke. And we've brought in the experts to be able to do that. Jesse Warren with Warren Diesel. You've been doing this for quite a few years, Jesse. Tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, we started uh, seven years ago, maybe a little more. Started as uh, the passion, something I did for myself. Sure. Thought maybe we could help the industry out a little bit, and we gradually grew from there. And we took a product that originally, so the 6 0 injectors especially, they had a lot of problems with trucks, cold start issues, and uh, sticks in, and this just, this, they have a bad name, so we sure. we took that platform and tried to increase the quality. And you have different packages that you've put together over the years because of, of all of your work to be able to, to help folks depending on what they want to do with their power stroke. What are we going to start off with today? Today we're starting off with, this is a, uh, whole big uh, it's like a mild performance package okay uh, you could probably see I would estimate around 150 horsepower gain over a stock injector truck we got a little bigger turbo here this is from uh, KC turbos it's uh, stage 2 turbo it's a lot like a stock charger direct bolt in no modifications required to the truck just bolt the charger on and go but it's 64 millimeter it's good for close to 550 horsepower or better. Wow, and we, we like the fact you're not gonna have to cut stuff, move stuff, it's gonna be full on. People like to hear that type of thing. Yeah, just drop it in and go. It's really a good turbocharger and it's all new, everything's new on it. It's uh, well designed, really quick spool up, and it's, everything about it's top notch. He's a really good company to deal with. He's, uh, it's uh, KC Turbos, Charlie Fisher owns the company, and really, really good company to deal with. But obviously what you're known for the best would be your injectors because you're fixing a big problem that these engines have. Tell us about the ones we're going to install today. These here are our premium 175-30 injector. They're uh, all our new spool valves. They're all fitted individually. Everyone's mated to that actual spool valve. Really a tight fit, no leakage at all. They're really well tested. They're all new internal parts. Uh, they're about the best we can get together for anybody. They're a really, really good injector. They have our custom designed spool valves. We've been working on that spool valve for about four years. And we've got a custom design, no stiction at all. Cold starts are really good in the winter time. And it's, it's a really, really, really good injector. I explain to the folks why that, the spool valve, why that's so important in the injector and why you've made the changes like you have. These, these injectors are driven by oil and cold weather, oil gets thick and we redesigned the end of the spool valve where it doesn't stick to the solenoid. It's, there's a solenoid they meet and they stick and it kind of glues it to the solenoid in cold weather. If you get a stutter in cold weather until roughly the oil temperature gets to 150, it starts to go away, but it can be really bad in cold weather. And that's, uh, yeah, and of course these are mainly work trucks and you want to, you know, be making the money with them or doing whatever you need to do with them, so they need to be running better. And you, you flow all of these? Yes, uh-huh. Every, every injector is flowed individually, every one. We tested for pressure, we put it up, we put a thousand PSI on the spool valve and hold it there for roughly 10, 15 seconds and there can be no, nothing coming through, no oil seepage at all, gotta be airtight, pretty much airtight. And uh, after that process to go into a flow, we flow the injector high and the low side. Okay. And, uh, verify the flow and these are all new parts inside. And you will gain roughly two to three miles per gallon with these injectors. And that was with, with our custom tuning and, to go with these. And of course, you know, so we have the turbo, we're gonna do the injectors, we're gonna get into the, the, the regulator as well and, and the tuning. Yeah, the, uh, with running these 17530s, you're gonna to wanna to run a regulated return system for the fuel system. The stock fuel pump is okay. That will keep up with the 175-30. So you want a regulated return that does away with the stock. The stock is a small ball regulator and it does away with that. It's an aftermarket regulator and allows the fuel to flow through the heads out the back and return to the tank. All right, so we're gonna put this entire kit on today. And I say we might as well go ahead and get started and start getting some more power into our power stroke. We'll have that and so much more coming up in just minutes on Performance TV. Performance TV is being brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. 
tire stickers, creative dynamic expression, Meltec suspension systems, and by Multi-Tool USA, teaching old grinders new tricks. Welcome back to Performance TV. Jesse Warren from Warren Diesel has taken the position above the engine. We're going to do an install. Now, Jesse, how far along are you? Uh, we almost, we're almost done with this side here. We, uh, we've been in it a little, a little while here. We had to take the degas bottle off, the whole air intake system, got the valve cover and the oil rail off, and uh, we got the back three injectors installed, and we won the last injector on the driver's side. So we're in the middle of taking this out. We're almost finished up on this side. All right, now, what other engine modifications have to be done to accommodate this upgrade? These here are the 17530, good for a little bit over 500 horsepower. A stock engine is okay. We recommend head studs. If you do, if you do not run head studs, you gotta go with a real safe tune, and you can even turn the power back a little bit. If you don't put head studs in and you run a hot tune, you're gonna blow some coolant out the bottle. There's, there's no fun. You tone a trailer like that and you start blowing coolant out, you gotta stop and just turn the power back. Or, that's uh, the best way to go. Fact of the matter is though, if you're towing, you need to have the power, so it might be worth doing the studs. Now you guys are based in Pennsylvania, yes. and so you guys got the cold weather thing down. I guess that's why you figured this out. Yeah, uh -huh. these injectors here have uh, better spool valve on. They're really good cold weather injectors. These injectors here, uh, we've seen these where it'll be zero degrees out, start the truck. We like, you like the warmer truck up, but if you wanted, you could leave with a cool engine and it's not going to give you any issues. No bucking, no missing, no shaking. That's great. All right, let's do it. But yeah, we'll get the thing out of here. And uh, These injectors are uh, designed to run clean, good fuel economy. And there we go, there that one is. Here's the upgrade. Yep, this is the uh, 17530. Nice piece. So we're ready to drop in here. When these go in, we uh, we torque these to 31 foot pounds of torque. When we pulled these injectors out, we had we spin the engine over with no injectors in, and we put it, uh, we put shop towels over the hole, and blow all the excess fuel out of the hole. If you have fuel in that hole, we put the injectors in, and the cylinder's all wet. You can get a hydrolock situation, and the injector seems to be torqued tight, but it will not be torqued tight, and within couple hours of runtime, you'll blow a copper seal off, the whole injector will turn black and you start getting a, a misfire, smoke out the exhaust and you got big problems. All right, important tip right there. But if you're at home and you want to do this, uh, you, this is something you can do in your driveway. Yeah, you could do this right in your driveway. A good mechanic could probably do the job in about three or four hours. Professional guys would get it done in two and a half in a garage. But if you're in your driveway, plan on half a day or better. There you go. Done there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna torque this injector down. Very important torque specs on everything. A lot of people don't do that; they just tighten until it's tight. That's not the way to do it. Yeah, these got to be torqued to uh, 31 foot pounds. If I can get the thing to turn on, there we go. There we go. 32 is what we go to. The book calls for about 26, but we've seen a lot better results out of going to 32. Gonna torque it down. There we go. She's tight. That's pretty important to go to 32. It's, if you don't go to 32, I've seen issues. And it's, there's no issue at all going to 32. I've never had a problem. Hold down, hold up just fine. It's not an issue at all. There's a lot of pressure in there. Yeah. All right, we're going to set this oil rail back on. All right, here comes the oil rail. All right. This goes on fairly easy. It's not a real complicated situation. Now you said you've been in business for seven years. How did you get started with this? Uh, we pretty much just started small, started in my garage and worked with a few other people. And we we built we we built our own uh, own set of injectors for a pulling truck we had, and we we went from there. We uh, found what worked and kept increasing the performance and the uh, quality. So now we got a injector that we're really proud of. I love those stories. You know, the small business starts in the garage, grows into something big, builds a better mousetrap, so to speak, and everybody wants it. Yeah. And these here was just pretty important to go with a 
or that where the custom tune if we do not have a, we do not have a uh, tune in this truck it can cause the idle to be a little high and when the engine oil temperature comes up you'll get an erratic idle so it's really important for the uh, guys putting these injectors in and they do not tune the truck and they like my engine's running off well it really it's important to have a custom tune to go along with these injectors and I'll take those bolts we got some bolts going here absolutely It's a really simple procedure. Doesn't uh, take I, I, anybody can do this. Doesn't it's not hard. So if you really think it's a tough job, you know, you can give it a shot. It's not that bad. Well, it looks as simple. We're going to keep going with the fuel rail, the valve cover, and then when we come back, we get to go with the turbocharger, and I'm very excited about that. Stick around. We got more performance TV coming up. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. It's turbo time. New turbo, old turbo coming out. Jesse, the power we're going to make, a lot of it's going to come from this new turbo. Yeah, that uh, we're taking out the stock turbo. This is a stock 05 to 07 turbocharger. These are a VGT turbo. They've got a vein position. And it's a really quick spool up. But the stock charger on these trucks is small. The 05 to 07 trucks are even smaller than the 03 and 04 trucks. So this charger here is limited, really limited. You're even able to run hot. EGTs will be running hot. The fuel economy can be down a little bit. So today we're putting a, uh, a KC turbo on here. This is a stage two single plane billet wheel. It's good for 500 to 600 horsepower. Quick spool up, clean charger, good fuel economy. It's, uh, you can tow with it. So it's a really good replacement charger, direct, direct bolt in. Oh, very no good. modifications needed, bolted in and a gill. That's how we like it, simple. So we're in the process of pulling this charger out. We've got all the bolts out, it should pop out pretty easy. Now you gotta be careful when you do this, it, it's considerable mass for a small part. Yeah, this is, these are not, they're not hard. They're fairly easy to, fairly easy to change, but let's see if the thing comes out of here the way it's supposed to. There we go. She might come out. We're lucky. It's almost as if you've done this before. Just a couple of times. There we go. I'll hand this to you. Then Ready we'll check all the. Uh, let me check these O rings. Everything looks good. These should normally get changed, but they look okay. They're fine. And when I pulled, I pulled this off. This here is a stock oil line on the 05 to 07 trucks. 03 and I think some 04 truck, but this oil line here is solid steel and they, they tend to crack, so these generally should get changed to a braided steel line. Changed so we'll, to braided steel. Yeah, we'll be okay with that, we'll be fine. It should fall right down in there pretty easy. That is a nice piece. You I really like yeah. billet wheel, it's obvious. And this guy has a lot of time in researching and developing these turbos. They're uh, very well designed turbo. He makes uh, stage one all the way up to stage three. The stage three is good for six to seven hundred horsepower. Still, still direct bolt in. Now, as you had mentioned, a tune recommended. Yeah, you will need a custom tune for these to go along with the uh, these here. That's pretty good. There we go. He's right down in there, and uh, you will need a custom tune to uh, alter the vane position, the drive pressure. These take a little bit more drive. And they're capable of a lot more boost, but they come on just like a stock turbo. So a really, really good, good charger to upgrade to. If you have to pull a lot of weight in extreme conditions, it's nice to have that extra power. Yeah. No, like I said, there's no, no, no real modifications needed other than a tune. You gotta be careful. You need the head studs. You really should have head studs. It's easier. We'll make enough boost to uh, push coolant on the stock, stock bolt engine. They go on really easy. It's already on about pretty much. No, very simple. You just put it in position right in the factory location and gonna lock it down. Yep, I got some few little bolts to put on here and uh get a button back up, but uh this is uh, a really, really good upgrade. So the guy's looking to go with this, especially with our injectors. We pair this with the the 175 injectors that we just got done installing. Now with the two put together, I'd easily expect to get about 550. Now, Jesse, what about the fuel system? Does it work? Is it compatible with this kit? 
Yeah, the stock fuel system is okay with this kit. We we 17530 is stage two turbo. Uh, the stock fuel system is completely okay. You do want to do an upgraded fuel system, like the regulated return system. You use the OEM fuel pump. That's that doesn't get changed, and we'll do away with the regulator up here, or it's uh, it runs the fuel through the heads out the back and into the tank. So basically, the regulator up here is no longer uses the OEM returnless regulator up here. This it goes in in here and right back out again. It doesn't go through the heads. So we're going to run the fuel. There's a regulator kit we put on here that will put the fuel and it sends it right through the heads and back to the tank. So we constantly get fuel flowing through the heads. If we don't have that on here, you can get hot, like hot fuel. It can cause issues with the injectors with a little bigger setup like this. But yeah, this setup here, you don't need a bigger fuel pump. Other than that, any other necessary modifications? You should do head studs if you don't have those. A couple things like that. Uh, you could do a bigger intake. You, you, you want an, an air intake system. You want an SMB air intake system, which we got those in stock on the shelf every day. So if anybody needs any of those, we can hook them up. But that, then you got an SMB, a few other good air intake systems. But you really need an air intake system with this charger to get the maximum performance out of it. Because the way this charger is set up, you need something better than stock. Well, if you're going through this, you might as well go all the way. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a really good, really good street friendly setup. You can tell all day, every day. It's a well-designed turbo, and it'll get you what you need. It'll, uh, if you want that little extra, it makes your truck a lot more fun to drive. And that's the whole purpose of everything. The turbo is just about in. This is just one of the kits they have. We're going to learn more when we return to Performance TV. Performance TV is being brought to you by Stage 8 Locking Hitter Bolts. Learn more at Stage8.com. Top Lift Pros. Now you can live outside the box with Top Lift Pros. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. Welcome back to Performance TV as we continue our visit with Jesse from Warren D. So we got the turbo installed. You also have the 17530 injectors installed and everything else that you've done to our Ford truck. But what if someone wants to do not the mild, but do you have any other kits that they can go with for their power stroke? Yes, we do. We have, uh, this is the economy package we offer. So you have, these are a 155 stock nozzle injectors. They're not a lot much more than stock. A little bit more, you gain fuel economy. Considerable decent fuel economy. They're quite a bit better. A lot of guys report three mile per gallon better or even better. But, that really uh, adds up if you're does. towing long distance it especially. Makes a, it makes a difference. So we have the 155 stock injectors, the band, upgraded banjo bolts, the regulated, uh, this is a blue fuel spring kit, a little better fuel system kit. Helps the fuel pressure a little bit. And then the tuner comes with that also. That comes with three custom tunes to go with those injectors and maximize your fuel economy. The injectors alone on stock tuning, you're not going to gain a whole lot. But with the tuning to go with those, you'll gain a little bit. I'd say three mile per gallon. So with this kit and the one that we installed a little bit earlier today, uh, does it include your cores? Is that something we need to think about? There is a core charge on the injectors. There is. A, these are all built out of injectors. They don't make these new anymore, so we always got to have a core back. So we do have a core charge on the injectors. You know, and something else that you offer as well is a warranty. Yeah, yes, these come with an 18 month warranty, yes. Okay, so both for this package and the one that we installed yeah. earlier today, that's awesome. But Warren Diesel isn't just about the injectors. You guys have so much more to offer for the power strokes. Yeah, we got pretty much anything you need. We can get, we got everything in stock ready to ship out. We try to keep all this stuff there. We have, these are billet low pressure oil pump gears and higher performance trucks. They're making bigger power, spend some RPMs. Those guys want to need that the, the billet gear set. That's a newer inner billet gear uh, with the OE outer. We custom make that and everyone's fitted exactly right. And they, we've never had one of them fail. And they're okay. really, really, really good. We have uh, upgraded standpipes. These here are the, how the oil gets to the injectors. Goes up. And these are really restricted. So these are a custom EDM standpipe that we make. And those are available. And that does, you'll gain some horsepower on the dyno. We've seen some gains with those. It keeps the oil pressure stabilized in the rail a lot better. So we love talking about gaining horsepower. And, and that's, that's not all. You know, I noticed when you were doing the install, you mentioned some other things, like maybe you want to uh, work with more bolts and studs and things like that to kind of make sure things are tight on the truck. And you guys offer a full line of that as well. Yeah, we got the ARP studs in stock there. And these here, are, you, you need these with a high horsepower, six liter, anything with tunes, injectors, anything, a little bit more power, you're going to need one. You're going to want studs for sure. And then we have... We do have uh, injector drive tuning for your injector. This is called, a lot of guys call this the FICM. It's a fuel injection control module. 
the sword. But you know, sure. we have we have full custom tuning for this, and we have these in stock ready to ship out. You want to stock pick them, or you want to custom tune pick them? We got those available, and we have any tune you need. The stock injector drive module is limited to about 4,500 RPM. You cannot go over that with a stock injector drive module, no matter what SET tune you're on. So we have a custom tuning, full full custom tuning for those. Whatever tune you want, we can put on there. Sounds good, and of course, you know, a complete line of pistons, depending on what you know you want to go with and your price range. Yeah, we have. We have the cams, pistons, rods, everything's in stock. So if we got we got good deals on these, and for shops, small shops, guys, that, you know, for dealers, we got good pricing for those guys. They want to get hooked up with some. We got cams. This here is more of an economy piston. That's the Maui piston. Custom, we custom. That's our custom bowl, uh, custom custom uh, fly cuts for the valves. And then that's the budget piston for the guys who don't want to go crazy. And then this is a billet diamond piston. This here will handle anything you want to throw at it. It's pretty much the same. With so you're custom made with all the fly cuts. Not only that, but you know, you've got the coating. Yeah, it's a really good piston. It costs a little bit more money, but it's not gonna let you down. And uh, then we have, we have heads available, O-ringed heads, these here. The head gasket tends to leak in the six liter. They got a bad name for that, but uh, with our O-ringed heads, it'll take care of that problem. You wanna run, there's two versions of studs. The 625 is a really high performance ARP stud. You run that with O-ringed heads, you're not gonna have any problems. And we can go more than one O-ring. We've done up to three or four O-rings and they do not leak. You know, and we're not even scratching the surface of what you guys really offer when it comes down to it. Yeah, we have pretty much anything you need. Pretty much anything you need. And, of course, you know, customer service after the sale. You guys need help after you're installing, when you're installing, that type of thing. I mean, Jesse has been doing this for quite some time. If you want to find out more about the kits that we showed you today and everything else they have to offer, go to their website at warrendiesel.com. You know what? It's all the time that we have for this week's edition of Performance TV. If you have something you would like to have featured, all you have to do is shoot an email to jeff at masterstv.com, and Joe and I will have more for you next time around on Performance TV.